We continue with the non-stop coverage as far as the hijab hearing in the Karnataka High Court is concerned with the court now questioning the number of applications. So yes, the hearing is once again resumed as 2.30 p.m. was the time given by the court yesterday when the hearing was adjourned after the petitioners put forth their argument in yesterday's hearing. Now, information coming in of how advocate for has said that lordships may impose time limit on us. I'm going to submit on international law and obligations in this context. So, yes, once again, arguments being put out. And the court maintaining that applications would waste time. The number of applications in question, they would waste the time of the court. And we prima facie feel they are not maintainable. Sagai Raj is joining us with more details. Sagai, you've been tracking what's going on across those schools in Karnataka, the ground situation, the kind of protests and how posters have also been put out by, let's say, a PFI. Uh, that particular role is also being questioned. But now that the hearing is once again resumed in the Karnataka High Court, what are the arguments that are being made currently? So they're talking about the current status across the state, several uh, pre-university colleges and degree colleges and diploma colleges which started today had seen a few protests including Raichur, Tumkur, Chikmangalur and other places where students came out and protested on the streets of all these districts claiming that they should be allowed with hijab. They are saying that uh, uh, they will not uh, follow the interim verdict. It is their religion, it is their belief and it should be allowed. And even in Udupi, there was a small protest here, though it was not that big, but still students went on to say that uh, uh, they, they used to wear hijab before, but now uh, there are restrictions which has been imposed uh, by the colleges by not allowing them in uh, uh, colleges to wear hijab. And coming back to the arguments, yesterday the, there was an argument about uh, uh, stating the examples of a few international courts talking about Canada court uh, verdict on turban and also talking about nose ring uh, which was not permitted in one uh, in South Africa's uh, university. Uh, today uh, the hearing has been uh, resumed and uh, the lawyers especially the councils have said that the more the time they take uh, it is going to kill more time for this particular case. So they had requested the justice to give a time frame for every single council to uh, keep their submissions. And so, uh, now uh, Ravi Kumar Verma also uh, re read the guidelines which has been issued by uh, Karnataka Pre-University Board in the year 2021 and 22, which clearly says that uniform is not mandatory for the students of first year PUC and second year PUC. If at all, if there is any management or any uh, colleges which is uh, forcing the students to uh, follow uniform, it is illegal and violation against uh, pre-university guidelines which was been issued in 2021. Followed by that, on February 5th, there was an order which was being issued by Karnataka government, but that was not mentioned. Only these guidelines which was issued in 2021, it has been mentioned. So the new order which was amended on February 5th, uh, where the education department have suggested that uh, uh, the students have to follow uh, the guidelines of uh, their college SDMC or college development committee. If at all, if those committee have prescribed any uniform, that uniform should be worn by the students whenever they are attending their classes. And if there are no uniform which has been prescribed, the students should wear uh, those kind of uh, dresses or uniform uh, which does not create any kind of disparity. Absolutely. And so once again, arguments not begin in the court religion. and one of the petitioners now arguing that in case a change is made in the uniforms, a one-year notice must be given prior to these kind of changes that are to be made in the future. A one-year notice is what the petitioner is uh, arguing in the court. Crispino is joining us from outside the Worldly Police Station in Mumbai. Now, Varus Patan uh, has been detained. He's been saying this is murder of democracy. He was to stage a protest in Mumbai uh, in favor of hijab for students across Karnataka. What's going on, Crispino? There? Have you been able to pick up any more information? 
Yes, Varus Patan right now is at the Worldly Police Station. As you can see, I'm right now here outside the Worldly Police Station. Let me just take you through. He is on the third floor there in the Worldly Police Station. We have uh, some of his party members out here with us who are going to tell us exactly uh, what's uh, happening inside the Worldly Police Station as we speak because he was, in fact, brought here half an hour ago uh, at uh, the Worldly Police Station. And uh, I'd like to also go across to uh, some of the leaders here who can uh, talk about uh, uh, his detention here. Uh, we have uh, David here from the AIM, uh, M, Ashfaq Khan, sorry, from the AIMIM. Uh, Ashfaq, please tell us what's happening inside. Hello. Yes. Yes, say it, Ashfaq. Are you live? Live. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world जिसके अंदर वारिस पढ़ान साहब जाने वाले थे सुबह आठ बजे से कल रात से पुलिस की नोटिस जारी होने लगी थी वारिस पढ़ान को साहब को आज सुबह आठ बजे वारिस पढ़ान साहब के घर के अंदर रूम के अंदर पुलिस स्टेशन के लोकल अधिकारी लोग पहुंचे थे और उनको नोटिस दिया गया और उनको रोकने की कोशिश की गई जैसा कि आपको मैं बता दूं कि इस सुबह पुलिस स्टेशन के बाहर है हमारे लीडर वारिस प्रधान साहब को डिटेन किया गया है पुलिस को डिटेन की गई है लेकिन हम ऐसा होने नहीं देंगे जहां पे इस वक्त मजलिस का मोर्चा है जमात का जो लेडीज सिंह ने रखी है वहां तक वारिस प्रधान साहब पहुंचेंगे पुलिस कितनी भी रोकना चाहे लेकिन जमात मजलिस रुकेगी नहीं हम जो करना चाहते हैं करेंगे ये हमारे इजाद के ऊपर ये मुद्दा है ये हमारी सरियत के ऊपर मुद्दा है लेकिन हम इनको कंटिन्यू करते रहेंगे जब तक हमारे हक के अंदर फैसला नहीं आता जब तक हम ये इजाज करते रहेंगे और ये जो कर्नाटक हाई कोर्ट ने जजमेंट दिया है जब तक हमारे फेवर में फैसला नहीं आएगा मजलिस जमात अच्छा साहब इसी तरह लड़ते रहेंगे क्योंकि ये हमारे हमारी सरियत हमारे को इजाजत देती है हमारी औरतों का पर्दा है और ये पर्दे को हम इंशाला तला जिस तरीके से Yes, as we've just heard uh, some of the members of the AIMIM uh, speaking to us on Republic TV, uh, Varas Pathan uh, here uh, being interrogated. He has been detained here at the Worldly Police Station. They are out here uh, standing in support of uh, him uh, right now here with uh, some of the members of the AIMIM. Uh, you can see uh, in that uh, police station, he is right now there on the third floor uh, 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 being with the police. At this point of time, you've heard uh, uh, some of the leaders speaking about uh, Varas Patan. Now, uh, uh, tell me, ki, abhi ke, ke, what time did Varas Patan was detained here? Please tell me. 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 Tell but as you've rightly heard some of the members here speaking about uh, Varas Patan, who is currently at the Worldly Police Station in here, uh, earlier he was supposed to join uh, 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 he was supposed to join a protest here uh, in Mumbai, but before he could join that protest, uh, uh, in fact, he was detained and he was uh, uh, taken here to the Worldly Police Station. We are right now outside the Worldly Police Station. We do not know for how long he will be kept here at the Worldly Police Station, but uh, we're looking at many of uh, uh, the members here uh, uh, coming to the Worldly Police Station from the AIMIM uh, in support of their leader here, Varas Patan, currently at the Worldly Absolutely. So let's see how this plays out in the next few hours. Crispino reporting non-stop from outside the Worldly Police Station. Also thanking Sagairaj for the moment for getting us all those uh, latest details as the hearing has begun in Karnataka High Court once again.